Are you looking for a website giving you extensive demographic information about Canadians? Well, I have just the website for you. It's the Census Profile website from Statistics Canada. Now, there's an extra bonus. It's actually available on the free web at no charge to anyone out there. So here's how you're going to use it. Uh, if you go to the Statistics Canada website, you could pick your language. Let's go to English. And obviously, there are tons of great resources available on this website. I'll actually produce a, I have a few videos about a few different sets of these different resources. But right now, I want to focus on just one, giving you the profile of a very specific neighborhood or place in the country. Uh, who lives there? What is their income? Where do they work? And that kind of stuff, right? So. Um, I'm going to use the census uh, of Canada. If you don't know what the census is, it happens every five years, and it is a physical head, head count of the country. People have to answer these questions. It's actually a requirement because the government uses it for you know, public planning, roads, schools, that kind of stuff. But also, you could use it for business research, for business insight, marketing, different kinds of things, right? So the goal of the census is to inform government decision, but also to get a, a sense of our country and to be aware of it, which means business marketing. So if you click here on the census website, there are many different resources av available to you. But I'm going to focus in my videos about the data products. And specifically, I've just clicked on census data products. There are two parts that I'm going to uh, cover, the census profile in this video and the data tables in another. The main difference is that in the census profile, it gives you the snapshot of a very precise place in the country, whereas data tables, you get counts of Canadians based on specific demographic variables. So census profile is for a place in the country, and the data table is to get a count of people who have a similar demographic makeup across the country. Uh, so let's go to the census profile. Uh, and so it's give, giving me a snapshot of a place in Canada. So if I browse down here, I could search for you know cities or different things. My, my favorite way to use it is to do a postal code search. And yeah, you could use your own postal code. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the postal code of the building I'm in. This is the Webster Library in downtown Montreal at Concordia University. Uh, so this is the postal code of this building. Uh, but yeah, you could use you know your own and see if you you know know your neighbors. Uh, so let's hit search. Now, the results that I get here is uh, basically all of the different geographical levels that StatsCan reports on. So for example, you could get a, 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 it's basically telling me that this postal code is in the province of Quebec. That's not big news to me. But yeah, but the fact that it's in this very specific dissemination area, that is interesting. Because you know what? There's a difference between the census metropolitan area, which is like the North Shore, the South Shore, Laval, and the island of Montreal. That is the greater Montreal area. Well, yeah, StatsCan has defined what that means to be part of the greater whatever area, you know, the greater Toronto area, GTA, or, or greater Montreal area. It is actually a, a definition by StatsCan of the geographical limits of this place. And they've done that for every part of the country, all the way down to uh, the most granular level, which is called the dissemination area. Uh, and this is, uh, 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 you know, and forward sortation areas, those are um, uh, names uh, that also uh, Post Canada uses for the mail. And there's a reason for that because there, it's also a way to reach out to Canadians through marketing or, you know, political advertising. Uh, so those are words that both StatsCan and uh, Canada Post uses. So if I go here to the dissemination area, I'm going to show you how granular the data could become, right? So this is this is giving me uh, the demographic makeup of this tiny parcel of the country from St. Catherine Street all the way to Sherbrooke and from Guy Street uh, to Peel Street. So yeah, it's pretty incredible that you could get this uh, detailed information uh, for uh, Canada for free on the internet. So let's click here on dissemination area. This is going to give me the actual statistics. Let's give it a second to load. And uh, so the last census happened in 2016. So you're going to say, oh, it's already too old. I'm not going to use it. Well, wait a minute. Um, because it's a physical headcount, because it's not a survey, a census is actually extremely detailed. Uh, you, you literally had people knocking on everybody's doors, making sure they've answered this survey. So even if it's a couple of years old, it is so precise that you probably have nothing better than that, except maybe going yourself door to door and asking these questions. Uh, but that may be um, ineffective. Uh, so here we have, let's say, 1,400 people, 1,446 Canadians live in this dissemination area in that tiny little corner of the country I showed you earlier. Uh, what do we have on this report? We have the 
uh, age and gender uh, distribution. You see here, male, female. So you have uh, by age group and by gender. Let's keep going. Uh, you get the marital status. You get the dwelling type somewhere below here. Family characteristics. Uh, household type. Uh, yeah, and you know, the irony is most of the demographic categories that marketers use are based on the census because that's the source of their information. That's how they know where people live and how many there are because they use the census. I mean, it's not a huge secret. Everybody kind of knows it, but you have to know that now uh, the census is on the free web and you can really use it for market research. Uh, and then, so after like age, gender, and family type stuff, you get a lot of languages, uh, which is amazing because it's so detailed. Uh, and you can see here, I have like a shopping list of information to show you on the census. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna use the keyboard options, Control F or Command F. So uh, Command if you're on a Mac or Control if you're on a PC. And I'm gonna type in here, for example, education. So this is literally telling you the different kinds of education people have in this neighborhood. How many people have studied what specifically, right? Uh, education, what else do we have? Occupation, uh, right, occupation. So what people have studied and what type of job they have, that's pretty cool, you know? Um, occupation, uh, industry of where they work. Whoops, it's here at the bottom. So this is where, what kind of company they work at. So you could be a manager in a factory, you could be an admin assistant in a retail store, you could be a developer in a website, I mean, on a digital company. It doesn't matter, right? This is what you have. So you have education, occupation, industry. You also have an idea of the commute. So how long people, what kind of commute they have, what kind of, of, of transport they use. I know, yeah, it's pretty crazy. I mean, they use this for like public transport planning and that kind of stuff, but you could also use it for, you know, advertising in the street. Uh, and then my last one, my favorite one is the income decile. So uh, actually the income decile is basically taking all of the households in Canada and placing them in 10 different buckets from uh, most affluent to least affluent. And this is how many people fit in each of the different deciles. And so you could sense how affluent a neighborhood is based on the composition of the people based on income. Oh, and yeah, so you have these income deciles, but yeah, if you just want the numbers and you want the actual income, uh, there it is, because you could actually, uh, let's see here, get the income distribution for the people here. I just have to cycle through all of the incomes. Oh my God, I'm just gonna, whew, let's go where they are. There we go. So this is the income distribution of this specific neighborhood. But you can get that for all neighborhoods in the country at the Postal Code level. It's insane. And so there's no guesswork here. The main difficulty is to really figure out which uh, aggregate geographical level you want to look at. So let's say you have like a retail store that people would drive to. Let's say like one of the major big box stores or like a food store that people would, you know, take take their car to. I mean, then you could look at a, a greater geographical area. And then it's just a matter of if, if I click back here to picking like maybe you want to do the uh you know the census track or the electoral district and yeah you could always get a map so if you click here on map you get to see what it looks like right so you could decide if that's the right if that's the right uh geographical uh region that you want uh if you want to do a website or a web radio station or you have a podcast that's targeting an entire geographical area then you could totally use the um, census profile of the place to get a sense of the demographic makeup. If you want to get, if you want to target the same kind of Canadian or the same kind of shopper with the same demographic, um, you know, characteristics, you would use a different uh, a portion of the census called the uh, data table, which I have another video on. But if you're looking for the makeup of a place in Canada. Definitely use the census profile, and this is just a matter of going through the list and understanding uh, the composition of that uh, neighborhood. Here's my favorite part, my most favorite part. If I go back to the list of under census and data products, yeah, for uh, the uh, people interested in, in data uh, management, 
you could actually download a portion of the census directly from the website and do your own data analytics. I mean, you could use the uh, you know the census profile uh, option of the StatScan website to generate tables from their web uh, portal, or you could download the thing directly from the internet, the data set. Isn't it amazing? I love the 20. There are parts of the 21st century that I absolutely love. So this is Olivier Charbonneau, Concordia University, uh, business librarian, just showing you how to use the census profile from Statistics Canada. Take care.